Hello guys, Neopel Times here, welcome to a new video and today I have a very different video to make because it's not something I usually do but today I'm going to try to convince you not to buy the new iPhone XS and XS Max Okay, so today I'm going to give you 3 to 4 reasons of why you shouldn't get the new iPhone XS and XS Max First, and probably the most important and the one that will detract more people from getting it, is the price. The new iPhone XS starts at $999 and the iPhone XS Max starts at $1099 and gets all the way up until $1449. I mean, what? <laughs> That's a ridiculous price to pay for a phone. And Apple knows it. In fact, Tim Cook has acknowledged all this iPhone pricing thing in several interviews and he said that the reason for the higher prices is because they have found a segment of the market that buys the iPhones at these prices. So if we stop buying iPhones at such high prices, Apple will be forced to lower their prices and yeah, we will have cheaper iPhones with even more specs in the future. So that's reason number one not to buy the iPhone XS. Reason number two is that it really doesn't have anything outstanding that you say, wow, this is a killer feature. Pretty much the only new things are all the camera improvements with this uh, focal length change thing. And of course the dual speaker video recording. And yeah, pretty much that's everything. Of course we get a new processor, but the difference isn't that much with the A11 Bionic chip, as the benchmark scores suggest. And yeah, the A11 Bionic is still a great chip that will last for a lot of years and it's also made for artificial intelligence. So yeah, it's not watery and rainy like in the A10X, for example, it's perfectly fine to run new software versions on the A11 Bionic. Speaking of the A11 Bionic, the iPhone 10 with iOS 12 is perfect. I mean, I don't have one, I have an 8 Plus which shares the A11 with the iPhone 10. And with iOS 12 it has gotten way faster and the battery lasts even longer. So yeah, if you have an iPhone 10, it's absolutely mm, don't even think about upgrading. And I would say that even if you have an iPhone 7, you don't have to think in upgrading. Maybe if you have a 6S and you want to upgrade, you can. But that's where the iPhone 10R comes in. The iPhone 10R is also a brand new iPhone that shares the A12 Bionic processor with the iPhone 10S and it will be coming later this year. It comes in a wide range of colors and has more screen than the iPhone XS and yeah, that screen has less resolution but because of that the 3GB of RAM that it comes with will be more than enough and also it's the iPhone with the biggest lasting battery life ever. And lastly, I wanna make you think a little bit because Apple discontinued the iPhone X when uh, launching the XS and there's a reason for that. It would draw sales a lot from the iPhone XS and yeah, that's why they discontinued it. In fact, they released the iPhone XR that even has less specs than the iPhone X and there's a reason for that because they want people to see the higher difference between the two iPhones and maybe take the upgrade to the iPhone XS. However, you can still find the iPhone X in many stores at least as it hasn't been sold out yet and yeah, you can get your hands on one and real cheap so yeah, that's all for today. As you know, I'm a huge Apple fan and I love Apple and I love Apple's products, but their pricing is becoming higher and higher and yeah, it makes it, it's pretty crazy to think about a phone for $1,500 and it's even more expensive in Spain, but I will not go into that. And yeah, we as customers have the power to stop Apple from rising their prices if we stop buying them they will be forced to lower the prices, otherwise they won't sell many more smartphones. Also, I want to tell you that I'm always the person who wants the latest and the greatest, but this time I think it's not worth it because the specs aren't really that great. Also, if you're not in a rush, wait until 2019 because Apple is rumored to launch an even greater generation of iPhones with a lot of changes and yeah, it's worth waiting. So yeah, what do you think? Do you have plan to get the iPhone XS? Did I convince you with this video not to do it? Are you still getting it? Please leave me the comments down below and we can have a debate on whether I'm wrong or I'm right. Cause this is my point of view and I might think I'm right but maybe I'm not so as long as you leave it in a respectful way 
you can leave the comment down below and we can have a debate about it. So yeah, thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more upper related content coming every week. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.